Yesterday on the channel, I made a video talking about WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch, and I said that this game was the bane of my existence. It's something that I've talked about so many times on the channel, and I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of the lies, I'm sick of the letdown, I'm sick of everything to do with WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch, because it sucks, and I don't like talking about things that suck all the time on this channel, but... Today, we have more to talk about. More things that suck. Remember the Atari box? Remember how last week on RGT News I said that the Atari box would be unveiled at GDC this week and that we would get more information on it? Well, they showed the Atari box and we've got more information on it. And guess what? It has a new name. So in this video, we are no longer going to talk about the Atari box. We're going to talk about the Atari VCS because that's the new name of it. And all the cool new information that we got on the Atari VCS. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about the Atari VCS. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So that is right folks, at GDC Game Developers Conference 2018, the Atari box was renamed, was rebranded, was rechristened as the Atari VCS. And we got tons of new information on it, we've got all sorts of fun stuff. Actually, we didn't get much of anything, but we do know a few things about the system now. We do know about the PC gaming level of stuff you could do on it. Evidently, you could run low-end PC games on it. So throw away your computer because you no longer need it. You, of course, have the Atari VCS. No longer the Atari box. The all-in-one device that will play everything we want it to. The Atari VCS. And it's not a VCR. No, 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 no. It's the VCS. Don't get it confused, folks. Don't get it confused. Used. The Atari VCS will be available for $250 to $300. And uh, yeah, because you know that's a great bargain price to play some low-end PC games and Atari 2600 games, I guess, because they showed off some controllers. And the controller looks like your standard third-party knockoff controller, Chinese build, that you always see available for a multitude of platforms. And they also showed off the joystick so that they let you know. This is a retro console, so if you are a retro gamer, you're going to have fun with the Atari VCS, folks. The Atari VCS is the cutting edge and the past. It's bringing retro back to classic with a dash of future and modernism. So, and you know, they're, they're hitting all the right notes here. Games, we still don't know anything about the games. But really, at this point, do we need to know anything about the games? Is there anything to know about the games? It's the Atari VCS, for Christ's sakes. This system died for your sins. It will cleanse the gaming world of all of these impurities and disgusting practices with the Atari VCS. Pre-orders coming soon, folks. Pre-orders coming soon. And literally, that's, that's really all they showed off was that they have a controller, they have an Atari joystick, and that it's now known as the Atari VCS. They didn't show off a single game for the thing. Oh, but Jesus, let's not forget, hashtag real wood. It has real wood, folks, and really, what more in life do you need? Atari is just, they're hitting on all cylinders right now. Remember the Atari speaker hat? The hat that had speakers? Remember Atari with the roller coaster tycoon thing for the Nintendo Switch where you had to give your hard earned money to get a 25% discount on the final product? Remember Atari cryptocurrency, which I didn't even talk about because I was in the process of moving and I probably would have shaved my head and eaten my hair at the disgust of this. But now the Atari VCS is just the, the cream of the crop. It is the cherry on the Sunday, the fudge Sunday, the hot fudge fecal Sunday, known as Atari in 2018. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They also talked about games that will be coming out for different systems as well, such as Roller Coaster Tycoon for the Nintendo Switch. That's a crowdfunded thing, but it's supposedly gonna happen whether they get crowdfunding or not. And they did say one thing that was almost interesting. One thing that I was kind of like, huh, well, that's pretty cool. And that is Tempest 4000. Now, Tempest 2000 on the Atari Jaguar was a fantastic game. I'm not gonna sit here and bash that game. I absolutely love that game. Had an amazing soundtrack, really good visuals, and was a really fun game. But it was Tempest at the end of the day. Tempest is not a game that you could sell for 50 to $60 in 2018 or 2019. It's more of a budget title. So it's not something to really 
you know, focus on and not something that you should be, you know, touting as your next big thing. Will Tempest 4000 be available on the Atari box or uh, excuse me, Atari VCS because it's coming to the PS4. That's what it was announced for. So is it safe to say that games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and Tempest 4000 will be coming to the Atari VCS? You'd think if they wanted to sell these systems, you'd think if they wanted to actually do something with this console and make this console relevant, make this console successful in 2018 or 2019, whenever it releases, they would show and talk about some damn games for it because that's literally the one thing they are not doing. And that honestly is the scariest thing about the Atari VCS. They're literally trying to sell you something based on a name alone and it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting i can't believe they went to gdc with this and that's what they showed was literally a picture of the system and then they renamed the system honestly atari box you might as well stick with that you've already got some branding with that you've already got some steam building with that literally 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 how does this not smell like the retro vgs to coleco chameleon it's the same damn thing all of a sudden oh people are people aren't being nice about this system people like rgt and every other youtuber and every other website are talking junk about this system it's known as the atari box let's change it to the atari vcs and maybe we can fool them you're not fooling anyone this is just absurd it is absolutely absurd and it makes me want to rip my hair out because i don't understand why this is still happening Happening. I don't understand what the market is for this. Everyone has a PS4, an Xbox One, a Nintendo Switch. Nobody's gonna be sitting there at Christmas time. Mom, I want a really stupid system that doesn't have any announced games that can play low-end PC games. That's cost me like $300 and it comes with an Atari 2600 joystick so I can play Atari 600, uh, 2600 games. Yeah, I want the Atari VCS. Like, there's no child that's gonna do that. There's no adult who's gonna waste their hard-earned money on this thing. It is honestly the stupidest system it is stupider than the retro vgs coleco chameleon situation because at least they had an idea you know at least they had some sort of goals and at least they sort of told what they wanted to do sure the whole thing went to hell in a handbasket sure the whole thing was a clever ruse that fooled a lot of people and you know caused a lot of rifts in the retro gaming community but i think at least at the very least with the one thing you could say about the retro vgs or the coleco chameleon was that the intention was in the right place with the uh, atari vcs the intention is literally just to scam people the intention is literally just to feed off of the Atari name and get old school Atari fans interested in this product. I'm a member of Atari groups on Facebook and there's so many people that are just in denial about this system and still holding on to some sort of hope, some beacon of light, some bastion of glory that could potentially happen with the Atari VCS. And it's like, dude, no, we have to face the facts. We have to face reality with this system. It has no place on the market. It's going to be the worst selling system of all time if it even comes out. I still don't even think this thing will ever come out because you would be wasting so much money essentially putting a mini PC in an expensive real wood box and shipping it out with a controller and a joystick at $300. Like you could buy a mini PC for $100 that does everything this system could do. Why would you want this thing? I don't understand it. But yeah, so that's the latest with Atari at Game Developers Conference 2018. The Atari box, no more. We have the Atari VCS in its place that will save video gaming. It's going to be the most impactful thing in the world. And there are actually people out there that are that are still excited for this. And I feel for them. You know, if I, if I was a praying man, I'd put you on my prayer list because you, you need some help. You need some guidance in life. And that's why RGT85 is here. RGT85 is here to guide you and guide you well. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this. I was gonna save it for RGT News Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., but I figured this needed its own little segment. It needed its own little spotlight. I had a bunch of people messaging me, you know, sending me the pictures like, dude, you need to talk about this. It's so crazy, you know, what's going on with this thing? So I just went ahead and decided to talk about it. Let me know what you think of the Atari VCS in the comment section down below. If you think this will fail, if you think this will not come out, if you think anything otherwise, 
change my mind, I guess. And thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications, share this video around. Let's show people that this is a terrible idea and they should not be excited for it. If you really like my face, check out the description box down below. We got links to Patreon, t-shirts, social media, all sorts of fun stuff to keep up to date with everything going on in the world of RGT85. And I'm trying not to rip out my hair, but hopefully I won't have to talk about this anymore in the near future. I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Take